quick disclaimer before we begin, the PEMF podcast does not contain any medical advice and the content provided is for informational purposes only. If you have any health concerns, please visit a healthcare professional. Welcome to the PEMF podcast. This is episode four and today we're going to be talking about intensity. Yeah, we thought this would be a great episode to make because obviously intensity is one of the more important factors uh, when it does come to PMF and we do get quite a lot of questions about it and there is a little bit of confusion surrounding it. So hopefully today in this episode, we're going to eliminate all confusion uh, and hopefully by the end, everyone will fully understand what it is, and kind of as much as you can know kind of about intensity. Um, so we'll start off basic, Andy, uh, what kind of is uh, intensity and how is it measured? So intensity is basically the strength of the magnetic field when it comes to PMFs. And we generally tend to measure it in Gauss or millitesla. They're the most common ways in which PMF devices are measured. So yeah, we spoke a little bit about this in episode two. How much does intensity actually kind of matter and how much of a role does it actually play in the PMF devices? Yeah, so for me, intensity, I think, is the most important thing when, when selecting a PMF device. Um, we, we see a lot of difference between the outcomes of super low intensity systems when you compare them to medium intensity and high intensity. And we'll break them down into simple terms. So anything one gauss or less is generally seen as a, as a super low intensity system. Systems that are measured one gauss or less, they tend to measure them in millitesla. So if you see, if you're looking at a device and it has, um, you know, 10,000 millitesla or 1,000 millitesla, something like that, generally that means it's, it's quite a low intensity system because they're kind of using bigger numbers to, to make it sound a bit more intense. When we're looking at medium intensity, we're talking about anything that maybe from 1 to 10 gauss, 10 to 20, that sort of range. Higher intensity systems seem to be anything from 100 Gauss and upwards. And we actually have devices we sell that are 30,000 Gauss. So, and it's the same strength as a MRI scanner. On MRI scanners, because obviously some people might be a little bit scared or their eyes, ears might ping up when they, uh, they hear MRI scanners being spoken about with PMF and how they share intensities can come across as a scary thought. Because um, obviously you, you can't have an MRI scan every day. It's not the safest or probably the healthiest thing to do, but you can use PMF every day and it's not harmful. So how does that kind of work? So an MRI scanner intensity, when we compare the two, uh, they're using very different frequencies. We came back onto frequencies on episode three. Um, and it's a, it's a very different type of technology, although creating magnetic fields. Um, I think the strength we use to show people that it's as an intense as a, as a, MRI scanner, but it can be kind of a bit of a scary concept. Um, the, the way they difference is uh, the frequencies are very different and MRIs are used for imagery. So as you, you know, may appreciate, it, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of high frequencies to get those images. PMFs, again, we're talking about frequency going back to our last podcast and we talk about the therapeutic range of frequencies. So we're applying those frequencies generally between about one to 100 hertz, which for the body is, is quite natural and quite therapeutic. Do you know the frequency of an MRI scanner? They vary, I think, but 30,000 is the range of oh, the frequency. No, I'm not sure. One to 300 MHZ. Megahertz. So is that like a thousand? So that would be like... Um, one hertz, I think a megahertz, a thousand. Oh, MHZ is actually a million hertz. A million. So, <laughs> so your gigahertz is like a hundred million or something. Yeah. That's why it's, <laughs> that's why we talk about yeah. 5G on the phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But anyway, a question we do kind of get a lot about low, medium and high intensity devices is kind of like how and why the price does vary so much between these kind of three categories of devices. So it's a good question because a lot of our customers do ask us, you know, why do I have to pay so much money for a high intensity device compared to a low intensity device? Um, and it comes down to a lot of this, which is, which is copper. Um, copper is the, the key ingredient when it comes to creating a pulse electromagnetic field. 
Uh, if you're watching this podcast, you'll see me holding three copper coils. Copper coils are put into the mats and into the systems, and then a small current is passed through the copper coil. And what that does is that creates that magnetic field. To get a stronger magnetic field, the easiest way to do that is add more copper. So you two ways of doing it. You can increase the um, current that's put through them, or you can increase the copper, or doing a combination of both. So copper, as most people know, is, is, is quite an expensive material. It's, it's not the cheapest when it comes to manufacturing, especially with devices that have many copper coils and, and at a high intensity. So that's the biggest difference in, in price when it comes to intensity. But there are some devices out there that are super low intensity that are also high price. And if you're looking at one of these products, I'm probably looking in the wrong, wrong direction when it comes to PMF. Um, for me, you want to try and get the most intensity you can for your budget. And, you know, we're not telling people, we never tell people to, you know, spend over the budget, spend what they can afford. But the best thing about a higher intensity device generally is that you can lower it. Whereas lower intensity devices, you can't higher the intensity. So you're stuck, you know, you're, and when it comes to using PMFs, as a first treatment or at, for the first time, if you're looking at introducing PMFs into your life, we tend to tell people to go low and slow. So you start on a lower intensity and you work your way up. So a lot of people buy a low intensity device, they start seeing benefits and it's great, but then they're kind of limited as to what they can do when they want to start increasing those intensities and trying different frequencies, that sort of thing. So for me, it's always go for the highest intensity device for your budget is the best best example with that then can an intensity actually be too high or too low does such thing exist so there are there are devices that are very very low frequency and for me it's very super superficial kind of response because the easiest way to describe it is that the low intensity systems have a magnetic field but it's a very small magnetic field every time you come about one centimeter from the mat you're losing half the intensity so every few centimeters you're getting away, if you think that the intensity goes half, then half, then half, then half, then half. So by the time you're getting to, you know, somebody, somebody's uh, spine or, or their rib column or something like that, the intensity is almost gone when you're looking at low intensity devices. So using a higher intensity device, you're going to get a much bigger treatment area. And if we're looking at treating things like bone conditions, that sort of thing, Treating it with a one Gauss system is just going to give you limitations in time. So is one Gauss the lowest you would go? I wouldn't recommend. I mean, we, we at Numed sell a bunch of different devices from different manufacturers. And we don't tend to recommend anything less than one Gauss. That's the kind of real, real bottom end. Um, anything less than that is just arguable. Where is the therapeutic effect? Um, for me, my recommended intensity would be around the 50 Gauss range. You know, something that offers you 50 Gauss as an absolute minimum is, is perfect because you've got quite a big treatment area. There are devices that go up to thousands of Gauss and these ones you can feel, you can actually feel a, a movement within the muscle. And we tend to see these in clinics. The biggest difference between low and high intensity tends to be how often you need to use that device and how quickly you're going to get results. So clinics, people that use PMF professionally, they want to get real quick results, real little time. So they're going to use systems that are in the thousands of gauss. You're going to go into a, cl a clinic once a week or once every two weeks, get a treatment on a high intensity device, and they're going to see immediate results. Systems at home, that people can use once a day, twice a day. You don't need to go that intense. You know, something like I was saying, 30, 40, 50 Gauss, absolutely fine. Anything less than these intensities, you're going to be using three, four times a day to get some kind of therapeutic effect. So we spoke a lot in the last episode about how frequency relates to condition. How does intensity relate to condition? So that all comes down to the, the penetration depth of the PMF systems. So there isn't like a, a general rule again when it comes to like you have to use um, you know 150 Gauss for this condition or 
285 gauss for this condition. Generally, when you get to a certain level and above, you're going to tick most boxes. So, and that, that is usually about 100 gauss. So if you're using a system that's 100 gauss and above, it falls into the kind of high intensity bracket. And that will have a big enough treatment area, a big enough magnetic field to do most conditions and, and, and to have the penetration to, to pass through bone. So anything less than that, one gauss systems up to 10, we, we tend to recommend for general health and well-being. So just uh, maintenance, preventative maintenance, that sort of thing, good for sleep. Um, but if you're trying to treat something like rheumatoid arthritis, which is a full body condition and a bone condition on a one gauss system, you're going to struggle and you're going to, you know, you're going to be waiting a long time to see results. So what should you actually look at more than when you're looking to buy a device, frequency or intensity? In my opinion, it's always intensity because the, the fact that both of them are very important and both of them play different parts, but most PMF systems will give you the range of frequencies that you need. To achieve the range of frequencies from a manufacturer is, is quite easy. You know, it's more of a technical standpoint, creating a program that can use those frequencies. To create an intensity for a, for a manufacturer is much more difficult because we're talking about using much more copper, uh, much more expensive materials, and the cost of those systems will go up quite significantly. So again, for me, intensity is usually much more important. So we spoke about on another episode about actually feeling PMF. So what intensity do you actually start feeling it? Yeah, so tens tends to be about 3000 gauss where people can actually feel the therapy and it actually starts to resp uh, respond in your muscles. Um, but you don't need to go that high, especially on a home system. Um, people ask us a lot of time, you know, they buy, a, they buy a 100 gauss system or a 200 gauss system, which is kind of in the higher intensity range. Uh, they get it home and they're expecting to feel some kind of electric shock or some kind of tingling or um some you know something to to you know what how do i know this is working um and it's and it's a common question that we get but to be honest with you pmfs are are safe harmless and you can't feel the therapy happening um the best way to see the therapy is actually under a microscope looking at your blood um but obviously not a lot of people have that in in you know in their arsenal at home um what we tend to do is we get people to do diaries where they are monitoring their pain, monitoring their sleep. And we tend to see within about two weeks that there's quite a significant difference. Um, pain levels will reduce. A lot of people that are on medication, EMF can help with the absorption of that medication. But it's also helping to reduce that medication over time. So if we're fixing the cause of the problem rather than just turning off the pain then obviously that in turn will will help us reduce our medication over time okay yeah of course well i've got quite a big question now kind of to, to wrap up this episode it's a bit of a controversial one um is high intensity better than low intensity it's a tricky question to answer but if you want a yes or no my answer would be yes um for things like quicker treatments uh, quicker responses. So if you've only got budget for a super low system, I wouldn't say don't buy it. You, you know, know, introducing PMF devices into your life is the best thing you'll probably do. It just means you're going to have to use that system a little bit more often. So if you're going to, if you're going to buy a one gauss or a 10 gauss system, then you're going to be looking at doing two to three 20 minute treatments or you know as much time as you have sitting there in the evening watching tv getting that treatment time in if you've got budget for a higher intensity system you're looking at just using that once a day and and you know the time in which it's going to take to get the results is going to be less brilliant well then uh, if you are actually interested in buying a pmf device i'll link andy's company numed in the description uh, so many devices available on there and if you haven't already, if you could please follow us on whatever platform you're listening or watching this on, uh, if you haven't already. Uh, and if you could, if you are listening on Spotify, if you could please drop us a five star review, it would be massively appreciated. Thanks again for listening. And if anybody's got any questions when it comes to intensity or any of our other podcasts we've done, 
please leave it in the poll below.